You know, they tell me, they tell me that if you serve Jesus Christ, you'll do strange things. If you, do, if you become a Christian, you'll do some strange things. I'm going to tell you something. If you live in rock and roll, you'll do some strange things. You see, because rock and roll is not just music. Rock and roll is a lifestyle. It's buttons, it's posters, it's, it's the different paraphernalia that they wear. I mean, you look at some of these guys walking down the street, you can tell what kind of their music they wear, just uh, the music they listen to just by the clothing that they wear. How do you plead? <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> Thanks, Stan. With us, I'm Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment tonight. Today is a national day of prayer. It has been endorsed by President Obama, but there are legal challenges all over the place, and that, of course, is dumb. The Constitution clearly states the government cannot impose religion on citizens, but setting aside a day to encourage expression of voluntary spirituality is in no way an imposition. Are you crazy? Inside a century old kind of worship. Why don't you begin to pray uh, and seek the face of God uh, and begin to seek his mighty power? Uh, that is 20 year old Andrew Hamlin, pastor of Tabernacle Church of God in La Follette, a snake handling church with about 30 full time members. We're not up here throwing snakes across the church house and things like that. But I know the world, you know, they think we're crazy, but that's what I want to show the world. We're just, we're Christian people. We are part of the Pentecost. You can take up serpents, a, a four or five foot deadly rattlesnake. You can lay its hand upon your hand under the anointing of God, and there'll be no harm come to you. Hamlin is a married father of four children, and he has been bitten four times. I mean, I've got a crippled finger to prove that they're not defamed. <laughs> He almost died from one of the bites. Memorial Day weekend, one of Hamlin's mentors and friends, Reverend Randy Wolford, was bitten by a rattler and died the next day. Wolford's father, also a preacher, died from a rattlesnake bite in the 1980s. The way he died, that was, that was pre-appointed before the foundation of the world. What it means to me is that that just shows the ones that does believe in it that this is, no long, this is not a game. You know, that this is not something you play with. And he sent an angel down there, and he said to Lot and his family, get out now, because I'm going to destroy this whole area. So th th that's where sodomy came from. We use the term sodomy, and it means Sodom. And what's it like? Well, uh, we're heading that way as a nation. And in history, there's never been a civilization ever in history that has embraced homosexuality and turned away from traditional fidelity, traditional marriage, traditional child rearing, and uh, uh, has survived. There isn't one single civilization that has survived that ha openly embraced homosexuality. So you say, what's going to happen to America? Well, if history is any guide, the same thing is going to happen to us. It's not a pretty world we live in right now, and we need all of God's help we can get. Lincoln Stern. You stand here accused of 12 counts of murder in the first degree, 14 counts of armed theft of Federation property, 22 counts of piracy in high space, 18 counts of fraud, 37 counts of rape, and one moving violation. With a Christian brother who loves God, you need to get this DVD and watch God bless you right now. Hello, Bokosha. Oh, I'm excited. If you want to laugh, 
This is your time right now. We are ready to take our country back. And it couldn't happen soon enough. I think Washington, D.C., you'd think by now they'd get the message. An earthquake, a hurricane. <laughs> are you listening? The American people have done everything they possibly can. Now it's time for an act of God, and we're getting it. Why you guys think that you can speak for God? Did God tell you to come be? We can read because we can read. You read the Word of God. That's how we can speak for God. You can read, right? Yeah, I can fucking read. Yeah, so cry mean... aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. That means your sin. That means your manner of life. Make it crystal clear what the manner of your sin is. God hates fags. What part of that don't you understand, girl? I don't fucking understand you... why God hates fags. I don't fucking understand why because God hates can. anyone except for fucking bigots. Because he can. I'm sorry that you are raised for the devil, but I'm going to teach my children what the Lord their God doth require of them. You was raised for you were raised for the devil, and I'm sorry about that. But your parents obviously did not love you; they hated you. Do you like it better when uh, when she gets upset? It's not a matter of what I like, Louie. What I'm telling you is, her moral compass is broken. I told you at the house, the the, the youth of America, they have no idea what the Lord their God requires. Like, to me, as an outsider, it's mildly upsetting to see someone get upset. Do you feel I know that it is. in any way? I know, I know it's mild, mildly upsetting to you. Is it upsetting to you to see her get upset? No, it's upsetting to me that her parents raised her for the devil. And I'm not going to lie to her. She's been lied to way too much already. So what I'm going to do instead out of my love for her... You don't accept that you, you, don't accept that you just made her upset? I didn't make her upset. The Word of God made her upset, Louis. Now that is scientific fact. The gay movement is an evil institution. That's goal, the goal of the gay movement is to defeat the marriage-based society. This is the American evangelical Scott Lively speaking at an event called the Seminar on Exposing the Homosexual Agenda, half a world away in the African country of Uganda. No, we say no to homosexuals. We don't allow homosexuals. We went to Uganda to investigate what has happened in the aftermath of that conference. This. Homosexuality is not prohibited here in Uganda. We don't want it. An extraordinary wave of homophobia, which even includes a bill that would put some gays and lesbians to death. The bill is supported by one of the country's most popular pastors, Martin Sempa, who helped host that conference with the American evangelicals. Africans unite against Hello. And is a one-time friend of the American megachurch pastor Rick Warren. I'm going to give evidence on what homosexuals do. We found Sempa whipping up support for the bill by showing his followers extraordinarily graphic gay pornography. This is the... In Africa, Sodom is an abomination, a taboo, and an evil. And, and shut up! Shut up! Shut up! A, a community conscious individual. Stern! He's nothing but a low-down, double-dealing, backstabbing, larcenous, perverted worm. Hanging's too good for him. Burning's too good for him. He should be torn into little bits and pieces and buried alive. Hanover. I'll kill! 